I obviously I, I love it, I love it. I love Ral Masu Mashka. I love Ral Ma. It's one of my all time favorite mangas. I have all the volumes, of course. Read it several times, and of course I watched Loom right. Release for that, where I reacted and you know reviewed it for of course Space Invaders the Loom remake. Now of course then said we have the Ranma one and a half remake, and today then we have of course the new opening. And you, you, I love doing opening reactions and reviews, right? Of course we're gonna have a lot of opening for the next season, right? We have the new El Zero opening. That's gonna probably be the biggest one because I'm sure it's have a lot of spoilers, right? And I'm gonna have all of it just <laughs> guessing all the spoilers. We have the Bleach opening probably next Saturday. And so, all right, so Rama is going to air next Saturday with Blitz and so on. But the whole thing is here now already on the Mappa YouTube channel. I will leave a little bit for that. Of course, the Emma was unfortunately uh, le uh, uh, leaked with Dandan and so on. But um, I haven't seen it right. Of course, not. I want to ruin the experience. Uh, it's just it's so stupid to watch it leaked. Not just because the whole you know morale of it, but just like, why do you want to watch an anime? If the quality, I said it before, but again, right? These leaks of Ranma and even more Dandan, they're so badly quality. Like, why do you want to watch it? Right? I mean, it's just stupid, it's ruining the actual experience for you. Why not just wait right, until it does? But still, of course, very unfortunate the whole Netflix thing there and leaks are obviously someone working at Netflix or whatever. Right? Which is not like somebody didn't just hack them and accidentally got like you know five seasons <laughs> full episodes now. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I'm excited about anime. I wish it's here, guys. Like. I don't know if I will do actually reaction reviews to the uh, random anime. Uh, it depends on how much you guys want it, man. Share the videos one, guys. Uh, because, I mean, I read the manga so many times. I read the manga like five times or whatever, right? So, <laughs> so I don't know how good my reaction will be per episode, right? Because the storyline seems to be pretty intact, you know what I mean? But uh, this opening here should be awesome, right? Of course, the opening, or actually, I actually really like the original anime openings. And of course, I've seen the anime, the OG anime, many times as well, so. <laughs> so I'm a little bit like, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna like actually do weekly random episodes, but I'm definitely gonna watch the anime, and I will certainly do a review of the full anime coming forward. Uh, and I, I think I will of course react to episode one next week then, right? Uh, episode well, yeah, episode one definitely react of course because it's the first episode uh, and see so on. Right? But but I don't know. I, again, honestly, it depends on how much you guys like subscribe, share the video, guys subscribe, hit the like button, right? Because uh, for me, it's gonna be like a, a kind of different feeling, right? When I know exactly every scene, because I, I, I've seen and read it so many times, that I, I feel like I know every joke and every <laughs> like every character, every every slapstick. I, I know it so well that I feel like okay, it's gonna be super hardcore. But anyway, I love Rama. Let's do the opening. I am pretty excited to do the opening here because the real openings are very very good, and this will be the first opening reaction then of this uh, season. Uh, and Otherwise, I think that yeah, Bleach will probably be the best opening. Like from a from like an animation standpoint, yeah, I think Bleach, Ble around LC will probably be the biggest spoiler ones, and Bleach will probably have the biggest like you know anime like quality animation kind of thing. But anyway, let's go into it. Okay, that's the sound. Yeah, around my one and a half. Okay, I love it. Banner rolls. <laughs> kind of going away. Oh yeah, then let's change gender. And then we'll get shampoo! Okay, very well made in the here. And uh, another like popular, you know, pop song here, yeah, J-pop. Oh, shampoo is still in the background, of course. Oh god, we're gonna break down the opening. There's so much stuff happening in the opening, my god. But there's uh, Kodashi, yeah, so much happening. But they go to school, I guess, in the, in the anime. Because yeah, I bought all the books there. <laughs> that's good, they give me the table there, that's good. Oh yeah, and all the character, man. There's so many. Oh, shampoo again. So many character in this uh, opening. We're gonna break it down, uh, of course. <laughs> so much is happening. Song is great. Oh, this is this bit nice. The, the training. Hi, do 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 do. Oh, song of Melody, yeah. Oh, this like this is like the four main characters. Yeah, this is like the four main is. I would say. Oh, I love this is this is like the old school Ram openings. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like the classic openings, like the interrupting the square thing and like someone punching someone through the screen or something. Yeah, like this thing is so classic Ram openings. Yeah, and, like all these characters and you know everyone is like, interrupting the love story and yeah. <laughs> this is great. All the seats coming up here. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Oh, Ram is like, yeah, wow, this is beautiful. I can't probably be coming now too. Oh, I call it. Yeah, and I can't. It's gonna run. Oh yeah, they're gonna be like, she does love him deep down, you know, because I know how it ends, and then every character interrupts them, <laughs> like shampoo and so on. So yeah, let's break it down, it's gonna be a long breakdown here. Gosh, the opening is great, man. Oh yeah, I love this part here, immediately there's so many characters, everyone in the background, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I also like how they're introducing, you know, because this is like the four main characters, right? Around my Khan, and also of course, and shampoo and Ryoga, yeah. This is like the four main guys, right? This is the anime. Here, the opening is really good. 
pretty classic right for the run opening so they have these like you know all the characters coming in the way right the square things so of course now like you know production shampoos and we get run right uh, we obviously know the guy from the Akane, so they're kind of breaking them between right into this thing, right? Like this, like this square thing. So if you go back, I'm not sure you some old run mopping. So run mopping always had this kind of feel to it, right? We, you know, like, oh no, it's like coming after him. It's the young beam from Akane, and it's like all the characters jumping on the side and so the square things and the square attacking each other. So it's very much like a yeah, good, like, homage to the classic we own them. Tax Lama through the screen, yeah. No, but I love this thing. Uh, you know, Loom Moss had his fourth walling, but. This is really, really well done. This opening is fantastically well done. It, it captures the old school around the opening and endings, but also it's like fourth wall thing surrounded by the girls and Akane gets in, in your net to rap, she gets pissed off, she attacks him through the screen, yeah, like shoots water at him from her square to his square, right? This is just a perfect like run opening. This part here is also <laughs> very run opening. So many characters, back to the square thing, yeah, that's the best opening this season. No, but I, I, this is high quality. Who's Mappa does really good stuff, but this is this is really well done. Like I said, it's really capturing the old school stuff, uh, high quality of it. But I think immediately you have this in here is like whatever the title is on. But like immediately here, I feel like oh, this is gonna be a good opening. Yeah, you have Rama running there, and you know they have Rama in the background because I like how you like the loom openings, which are also very good of course. Yeah, the loom openings are fantastic yeah, especially the first opening. The song is so good. Uh, but just like the loom openings have them, it's that remake. So you're capturing this like comedy and the fourth wall, right, of Rama or someone. Because, you know, he's like running in different layers, right? He's running in the background, he jumps to the foreground. So it's like this stuff is really captured immediately in the opening, and, and that's just really well. Really done. And also, of course, right after this scene, you have so much detail, right? Because you can have like shampoo training in the background, so on. So there's so much characters all the time in this opening. And like that's that's the guy, you know, that tells him to not to jump into the water. So <laughs> that's the guy being like, don't go to the water. So, you know, she's like training here, right, with her weird weapons, or yoga, of course, or Pisha, and then right up in the sky. So it's like. Yeah, and then we have, you know, coming in the back and so on. Yeah, there's so many characters. Like, it's, all of these, like, clouds, or whatever you call it, or, like, the text box, whatever you call it. Yeah, they're, like, characters, like, Khan and the are back there. So it's, like, all the frames are constantly showing you, like, three, four characters doing stuff in the background. Lost for a time? Yes, if you have any spoilers, but, yeah, Ryoga, then. Raima's main rival, right? The guy over me here, then, here. He gets lost all the time, so that's why he's, like, walking down the forest there. <laughs> because he's, he's lost, of course, a lot of ways. Good, right? Um, it's a classic, like, bit in Ranma. That he, she, then, right, Rama turning into a woman, uh, it's like using his, his her charm, right, to get those free buns. Yeah, like I said, that happens early in the manga. He said, This is the only advantage of being a woman, I can get free food. So there's a reference to that. And then the first time Rama gets like free food, because <laughs> he goes to like charm some, uh, you know, baker, like, ah, I shall be my own price if you give me some bread. <laughs> you know, like, so that, that is that scene. Yeah, I'm telling you, that is that scene in the manga, what the first she is. When he's happy as a woman because he gets free food all the time. Yeah, uh, I love this scene too, right? You know, Akane gets angry, she hits Ran with the table. <laughs> yeah. uh, of course, this is one thing, right? And I saw people speculating about Lumu that thing. Obviously, this is for the same author, you know, Takashi Kone. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, it's like, I'll say it, it's very, very, uh, what's it called? Slapstick, slapstick comedy. Yeah. Uh, so if you haven't seen Ranma, of course, the comedy is very, very slapstick there. Some people complain that, you know, oh, Lumu is punching her boyfriend upside down and so on, right? Yeah. But obviously this is very similar. It's not the exact same like characters, but I mean it, it's from the same author and it's like you know in the eight. Where did I start again? In the eighties, right? It's very it's kind of old school, you know, romance and it's very it's very much you know like punching each other. Yeah, it's a little bit of slapstick comedy, eat them with the table and so on. So not Sundu though, but you know a little martial artist. But there's a lot of parody and other like martial art uh, manga and anime, a lot of movies of course here, right? So this is also Yoko's example in both Ranma and also Kinichi, is that Ranma is trying to eat rice, right? And his father, the panda, and Genma is trying to take his rice, right? So this is a classic, like, so this, this is why I also love Ranma, because, you know, I'm a martial artist, grew up playing martial about life, right? Ranma does a lot of great parody on all the, like, classic martial art movies, right? So, yeah, it's like his father's trying to eat his food, right? And he has to defend his food. <laughs> it's like a, a classic old school martial Shampoo! The best girl. Early, right? These are, like, the four main characters. I think it's very fair to say. That, yeah, yeah, I mean, there are other girls also after Rama, right? And one of them probably won't be, yeah, of course, she won't be in this season, right? Which is way later. But there are a bunch of characters that want Rama. In the beginning, it's most of them Kudachi and uh, Shampoo. But then eventually, also, I can kind of, you know, I, I mean, she likes him and she also wants him, but, but that's kind of later in the story, I suppose. Uh, but basically, these are the four first characters, yeah. So then we have the Ryoga, right? He's in the over me here, he's a rival, and also them, you know, love interest for Akane, right? And her interest with the Pisha and her, her beloved pig, right? So these are like the four characters the most focus on, definitely, in the, in the beginning of the storyline, certainly. 
Uh, and then the Rama gets more and more girls. But I, I would say that easily Shampoo is like the girl that should have won otherwise. You know, if, if it wasn't the classic, like, well, of course I can't ever win because the, the parents, this is the, this is the main storyline, you know what I mean? Shampoo is the one that clearly loves Rama of, of all other characters way before that, you know. Uh, but it's a bunch of other characters, of course, that we can see here soon, you know. They also want Rama. So I really like how they do this thing. Like the other girls, like with us, she's coming in there, right? And she, she loves Rama. She kind of comes in there and pushes away a kind of, right? Because they were doing their training and, you know, she kind of comes in the middle, right? Like, you know, like her square is like, you know, and her brother, uh, the only guy here, them, he comes in and like, pushes uh, all the way. So they kind of, you know, in interrupting this romance and, like, you know, <laughs> standing in the way and so on. Early, I love this scene, right? You know, Akane coming in from the side, like attacking Rama with the water. Uh, she's getting pissed off right with all the girls are trying to, you know, hit with him. Little interesting though that her sisters are also staring at Rama a little bit romantically in that scene there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit like that. But it's always a little bit tension with, you know, her, the middle sister as well, right? So, uh, so with some extent. So she's kind of like, just like doing it to teach Rama, yeah. She's a tea, uh, the teapot to kind of make him. So Rama to change the gender based on, you know, the water temperature, right? So usually the teapot is like symbolizing that someone is changing his gender, right? So the, there's a bunch of other characters that want Rama, like again, Kodachi, Shampoo, and so on, yeah, so on. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of characters. Yeah, I like it eventually. This is one of the benefits of doing a remake, right? You see in the last frame here, that after this, I kind of come close to two. But I mean, this is a good, like, ending of it, because, like, behind Rama, right, we have, like, I don't know, 30, 40 different screens of, of course, coming episodes, right? So all those screens are probably just actual episodes, you know what I mean? They're, they're all animated, so... Those are probably like episode uh, 7, 8, 9, whatever, right, you know what I mean, uh, in that sense. But again, this is the advantage of a remake, definitely, because, yeah, we, we've seen this before, right, 20 years ago, the anime is there. Uh, so we can throw all these, like, classic scenes, you know, the, the big moments of the anime or manga, right, uh, in this background, right. And people will be, oh, that's that scene, that scene when you get kissed, that scene when he gets betrayed or whatever, yeah. So we can throw all these scenes in the background, and, you know, for new watchers, they won't really pick up on all these like different small frames in the background, right? Yeah, so it's a nice touch to it as well. And of course, eventually, they do the same thing with the new motion, though. Like, which is like, you know, all the characters are just interrupting the romance, you know? Like, I can't around my a little bit of a alone time. And then Shampoo is like, no, he's my boyfriend. And then the sister comes in, and then the ogre is like, I will fight you. And <laughs> yeah, then everyone just uh, flies in there and interrupts them and so on. And this is the beginning, right? Because then we have much more characters. The moose isn't really in the opening. Yeah, we're lacking a lot of characters. We're lacking some of the other main love interests. Uh, Haposai isn't really in the opening, so he's not even there yet. Uh, we're lacking a lot of characters, actually. So, uh, you know, Ranma, similar to the example, of course, Uzeasuru will have a, a bunch of new characters for season. Right? I'm actually kind of surprised. And I, re I remember in the manga as a kid then, right? When I was new. Uh, basically, and I was surprised actually how the author kept adding like romance for Rama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but she kept adding like romantic, like oh, he's another woman that uh, you know was in love with Rama for ten years, and she's been over here now. Yeah, like she keeps adding like new characters, like almost the whole storyline. Yeah, like it's it's also it, it, in the end, this is a lot of characters. Yeah, this is the beginning. This is episode one, right? And well, actually, this frame here still lacks a few characters uh, for episode one, definitely. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Season 7, 8 or whatever, it's so many characters around me, seriously. And one thing I was like with Rama though, I mean obviously the gender bender, right, you know, male, male, female and so on. It's the most classic OG gender bender show by all, by, you know, by massive margin, right. One thing I really liked though is that it really immediately plays off this thing where some of the characters, right, are absolutely in love with like female Rama. And they don't, they don't love it like Hanover, they don't love it like girl Rama. And then some of them are in love with like, you know, boy Rama, right, like Shampoo says it. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, so it's like, he's surrounded by, you know, like, uh, you know, 20, 40 characters, I don't know, many, many characters. And half of them wants, you know, girl him and the other ones male him. And, and then some of them are aware, some of them aren't aware. So it's like a maxi mixture of all that stuff, right? And uh, I love this scene when Shampoo tells Akan that she's a hentai. She's like, well, I want boy Rama, you want girl Rama, so you're a weirdo. <laughs> yes, it's like, I'm the true love interest. Uh, and of course, the backstory with Shampoo, then spoilers now, it's very straightforward, right? Shampoo is like a Chinese Amazon, um, <laughs> yes, and of course, she loses to Rama in a fight, right? Which means that she has to now uh, marry him, yeah. She's like, no, yeah, he's the only man that can ever defeat me in martial arts, so I have to be his wife, right, you know, because uh, there's a lot of those, like, oh, and Akana then is, like, promised by her her father in, in Genma, then Rama's father, that they should get married to one, right? 
Uh, there's another woman from LA and so on and so forth. There's, there's, there's several characters that have been promised to like marry Ranma <laughs> for different reasons. <laughs> Mostly his terrible father who promised that to more than one person. But um, I always liked the, 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 the mixture of it, right? Because a lot of gender bender shows, it feels like the characters are either only, you know, surrounded by, oh, I turned into a woman, and now I got like five guys trying to, you know, do me or whatever, right? That feels like a pretty common story, right? Or it's like, I'm turning into a woman, but I'm still in love with, like, all these girls. It's like Kemper or something. Like, Kemper has, like, no... Kemper has the weird in a sense. Yeah, Kemper is the weird. Yeah, Kemper is like, he becomes a woman, but then all the other characters are also females anyway. So there's no, like, actual interaction between, uh, you know, like, some guy trying to seduce him or whatever, or him thinking about boys or whatever. He just becomes a woman, and then he just dates girls anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, they're like... For example, that, that's actually a pretty weird ad in that sense, because it basically has no males or whatever anymore. Uh, but, you know what I mean? Like, this is... Rama has done, done, done it much better, yeah. With the whole mixture of it, constantly that. And then some character kind of like... You know, I kind of get jealous because some guys actually want female around mine and not her and so on. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in it. Uh, but like I said, also because there's a lot of good, like, martial arts jokes, like, you know, his father tried to eat his rice and so on. Yeah, like, classic, like, uh, parody in martial arts, like, the Chinese and so on. So that's what's really funny in Ranma, right? But anyway, guys, that's a long analysis of Ranma opening. Uh, I definitely check out episode one next Saturday then. We will also have Bleach and so on, since we're releasing roughly, roughly the same time, I believe. Uh, I don't know if they will release the full season though, honestly, which they might do. I thought they were going to do like a weekly thing, but now when it's been leaked and everything, and everything already seems to be done, maybe they just will just dunk on the whole show and think about it. I haven't even thought about that, but yeah, they might actually just drop the whole show, right, on, on Netflix, instead of doing that classic like one and one episode. Maybe they're just doing the whole season one in like one day, actually. Uh, that actually wouldn't surprise me, especially now after Liz, thinking about that. Because it seems to be already be done, right? That's true. But we, yeah, no, I haven't actually read about that. But it actually makes more sense now, I guess, if they just drop the whole anime, right? Instead of being released the whole season. But anyway, guys, but the video subscribe to more, right? See you next time.